have you ever noticed a white cockroach and immediately thought you'd found an extremely rare species? Probably even an albino. Well, I hate to burst the bubble for you. But unfortunately, they are not as rare as they look. In reality, all roaches are white for brief periods throughout their lives due to their growth life cycle. Now, I know this has raised in a ton of questions in your mind. Like, what's the difference between an albino roach and a white roach? And where do white roaches come from? Also, do they bite? Etc. Well, don't worry. That's why we are here. We have all these answers for you. So let's dive in, shall we? What is a white cockroach? You might have seen these white roaches here and there and wondered where they come from and what could be the cause of their whitish appearance. Well, a white cockroach is a juvenile that has molted recently as a process of its growth. Let's find out what causes their white color and whether they bite. What causes the cockroach's white color? The real cause of a cockroach's white color is due to a chemical reaction that occurs within its body. It restores its original brownish pigmentation after 12 to 14 hours. During this process, the white roach usually casts its exoskeleton. Once the process is done, the pigment transposes back into red-brown, which is common in cockroaches. The number of molts a nymph undergoes varies with species. With each successful molt, nymphs start to look more and more like their adult life cycle. When these pests outgrow their exteriors, known as the cuticle, they split the cuticle up and cast it. Their soft skin appears white. Within a few hours, their new cuticles will harden and darken in color, appearing more like the typical coloration of its species. I. E. Red brownish. Where do white roaches come from? The white exterior is a result of a natural process that most cockroaches go through. Therefore, they don't come from one specific place. But it is always advisable to keep your environment clean and have healthy personal hygiene. Cockroach infestations may lead to the spreading of diseases and infections. It could even trigger asthma. Their presence in homes is a problem because it suggests breeding has taken place in the house. That needs to be taken care of. Is a white cockroach an albino cockroach? Talking about albino roaches. Some roaches undergo an incomplete metamorphosis and consequently need to shed their protective exoskeleton so that they could mature. Each time this exoskeleton is shed, the cockroach has a fresh white exoskeleton that eventually showcases the brown tone that is naturally occurring. This is the albino cockroach that we get to see occasionally. Why are white roaches rarely seen? The molting process of white roach happens anywhere between a few minutes to a few hours. Due to this limited time frame, it becomes difficult to spot a cockroach while going through molting exercise. The above reason, coupled with the fact that most cockroaches hide really well, even under normal circumstances, leads us to believe they are a rare species, when in reality, they are not rare as such. Do white roaches bite? Yes, these roaches can bite humans, and cockroach bites are most likely to occur while sleeping. In the dark, they do not feed on blood and they don't bite out of defense. Roaches prefer to bite on eyelashes, feet, dead skin, and nail tips just when it is dark. They even prefer breeding in the dark and live on unclean surfaces of the house. Be it interiors or exteriors of the house. Exterminate roaches with licensed pest control. Now that you have learned about white and albino roaches, let's further discuss what to do if you spot some of these buggers or their cousins. Alive. 
scurrying around your house. In case of just a few roaches, you have plenty of alternatives to kill, repel and drive them away. However in the rare case of a roach infestation, it's always recommended to hire a licensed exterminator to deal with them more permanently and effectively. To know more, fill the below mentioned form to get free multiple quotes from the professional pest control companies in your vicinity so that you can decide which one to hire for your infestation problem. And don't worry. All the information that you mention here is 100% safe. Also, by filling the form, at least you'll know how much you will have to pay if you take the help of your local exterminators. Final words. We hope this article sheds some light and answers your questions regarding the existence of white roaches. In the simplest term, a white cockroach is a regular roach going through a shedding process. And the process is somewhat similar to puberty that humans go through. You must note that whether white or not, roaches can create a severe problem if not taken care of immediately. So even if you spot one cockroach in your house, it's time to take some preventive measures to get rid of these pests before an infestation breaks out. Have you ever spotted a white roach? What was your first reaction? Tell us about it in the comments below. The post-white roaches and their existence, the myth of albino cockroach appeared first on the cockroach guide, everything about roaches.